Hello and welcome back to Two Minutes on Books with Patrice. Today I'm going to talk about what I read in April. It wasn't a very successful April in my opinion, but let's see what I accomplished. As a buddy read with Lisa, we read Let the Lord Sort Them, The Rise and Fall of the Death Penalty by Maurice Chama. I gave this four stars and she gave it like 3.5. It was repetitive in some parts. Um, it seemed like there were things missing um, that should have been added maybe. Um, it concentrates on the death penalty in Texas. Really, really informative. We learned a lot and I do recommend it. The next book I read was Wifedom, Mrs. Orwell's Invisible Life by Anna Funder. I read this as a part of the Book 2 Prize and I can't talk about it because um, that's supposed to be secret until I give my final rankings at the end of May or like the 1st of June. This was a DNF for me. I had high hopes for this book, but it really didn't, you know, pan out for me. This is Inside the Evangelical Movement That Failed a Generation, Testimony by John Ward. So it was a DNF. Okay, so I made it through about 60% of this. This is The Surprising True Story of Hollywood's Greatest Love Affair, Bogey and Bacall by William J. Mann. 60% in and he hasn't even met Bacall yet. This is turning out to be a uh, biography of Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, I know. I read the strangest things sometimes, but but um yeah, it's I am committed to finishing it, but it is a slow read. So, you know, it's okay. It's not a bad book. And then the children's book, which was really fantastic. I had no idea about this history. This is called Everybody's Book, The Story of the Sarajevo Hagata by Linda Leopold Strauss, illustrated by Tim Smart. This was illustrated and told very well. This was a five stars. So that's what I accomplished. I dabbled into some other things that I did not complete, but um, May is starting out to be a better month reading-wise. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.